Nothing, Brian. We were just talking about how we have to put the bad stuff behind us, try to look ahead to the future. Hope you feel better. We have a fun trip planned. Was she upsetting you? No. No, I'm okay. Really. Don't ask. Want to play a card game? What do you want to play? It's a little something my mother taught me. It's called spite and malice. I will tell you the rules in a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. That's, we have 18 there. Yeah. Odds are huge. You're going to bust if you do that. Yeah. I think he's got a 10 under that jack, so I'm going for it. Yeah, baby. Ah! There's no risk, no joy. Oh, gosh. Look, man, I'm buying the next round. Something without alcohol. I don't want to stagger down the aisle. No, no, no. We're not going to let you buy on your wedding day. Oh. Thank you. No discussion. I'm the big winner here. I've learned that it's useless to argue with a woman and only gets her arm in and prolongs the inevitable. However, mm, the well-toned fella with the funny accent and the cute butt can help me at the ball. Now you got some competition here. Oh, oh, help me. Oh, I got it. I got it. Help me. <laughs> Mind telling me what happened to you two 40 years ago? Why you didn't get married then? Short story. We were young and stupid. And I had this warped idea that marriage was like an undeclared war between a man and a woman. <laughs> the only war where you sleep with the enemy. And my first wife sure as hell proved that. <laughs> well, Babs is different. Babs is still Babs. With her, it's always been no risk, no joy. <laughs> I was the one that grew up. I learned to appreciate what I've got instead of always being afraid I was settling for something less than perfection. Hell, anybody who can put up with me is perfection. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, tell me, what are you afraid of, Aiden? For me? Nothing. Mm. To be honest. Yeah. So, why don't you sweep the girl off her feet and marry her? I did, babes. Uh, we got engaged and then um, something happened. It's complicated. No, it's not. You either love each other or you don't. And if you make things too complicated, you'll find yourself 40 years on, huh? Kicking yourself in that butt for what you knew you should do. What's up? You're obviously angry. No, I'm not. Bull, I know when a man's angry. Look, I'm not angry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Gotta shake it off. I'm happy. <laughs> this is only just the beginning, though. I mean, now that you're free from Fletcher, a whole door of opportunities are going to start opening for you left and right. And people are going to start to see your potential. That same potential I saw when we first met, which is why... I don't think you should jump with this job off. What? What are you saying right now? I'm saying that I think even bigger and better things are in store to happen for you. And I want you to win big, I do, but I don't think that's going to happen here in Pine Valley. It's not. I'll tell you what, let me give you some money. Go to L.A. or Miami. Go to L.A. or Miami. That's the spot where you can get a big start. That's the spot where you can get a fresh start. I can't believe this. What? You want me to leave. You're trying to get rid of me. 